Welcome to another moment of truth. And I believe that God is doing a work in your life. And I believe also that you are never going to be the same. We want to speak on some important issues today. And I believe God that God will minister life to you. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 14 is only one verse, very direct. The scripture says, For here have we no continuing city. It's also a rider to what the Lord has been telling us in the past two weeks. And I believe that this time around is going to take us to another level. He said, for here in the world, in this country, wherever God has placed you, we don't have a continuous city, but we seek one to come. There is a city that is coming, not this one. This one is temporary. This one is not permanent, brethren. Just pass through this earth and through this world as though it's a transit point. It is not your bus stop. God wants you to see from that perspective. You are seeking for a country to come, not this one. In that Hebrews chapter 13, verse number 14. Every bona fide and genuine child of God knows that the earth is not the final destination. That's why I'm surprised when I see the way some of us, we go everywhere to backbite, to kill our brother, to kill our sister. All because, when I see politicians killing one another, for what? For a temporary power. Excuse me, you can only be there for only two tenors or three, four tenors. Four times four, 16. 16 years you reign. If you like reign for donkey years, you will die. When you die, this is not your permanent city. They were looking for one to come as a child of God. Always desire that old country. I'm going to show you another one for the next, next period when we discuss. But for this one, he said, we are a, our citizenship is not here. Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. Our citizenship is of heaven. This is a temporary city. So how can a man leave his country and go and be dwelling in a strange land and refuse to come back home? No. If you know the God that you serve, you will know that you are going back home. Every one of us, we are going back home. One of these days, we will go home. But if you have joined yourself to the citizen of a strange country and you have forgotten your own home, you are a stranger in that place. You are a stranger in this world. You cannot afford to continue here as though this is where everything ends. Philippians 3.20 says, Our citizenship is of heaven. Jesus left but promised us a place in our home. He said, you believe in God, John chapter 14, verses 1 to 3. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions there. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place so that where I am, you will be there also. And I will come back for you. He's coming back. We, are not, we don't have a continuous city here, brethren. Child of God, this is not your final destination. And you need to prepare for that home. How you prepare for that home matters. You must know the God that has called you. Here, Apostle Paul, he cried. He said, in this life, in, um, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 19, Apostle Paul said, if only in this world we have hope, then we are of all men most miserable. What is my business in the church if I know that everything ends here? I don't have anything to do here. I will go out there and be making money. Sir, there is much more than this place. And if there is much more than this place, I want to advise you. Brethren, the beloved of the Lord, prepare for eternity. Prepare to meet your God. Prepare at, as if he is coming tomorrow. Or prepare as if he is coming now. For we have no continuous city here. We seek one that is coming and it will come. And it is my prayer that you will not be found wanting. In Hebrews chapter 11, the scriptures had this to say, and I want us to learn that lesson from Abraham. I'll read it to you. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 9. By faith, Abraham sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles and tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. 
I, I, I earlier told you that we are going to consider something else next week, but I think I'm going to stop very soon now because I want you to understand this, then I will come back and finish this statement. Because the Bible says God promised Abraham, said, I'm taking you to a land that you will possess, leave your father's house. And the scripture says when he got there, he got into the promised land. He got into Canaan. That was where he's supposed to build castle. He's supposed to build mansion. The scripture says he built tents. He did not build a castle. Why? Because the Bible says he refused to stay there. He was dwelling in tabernacles because he believed something else, that God, there is a better thing you are going to give me. Because if I settle here, what if you ask me to go to a better place? Will I want to go? Some of us, we are too settled on earth that if God says he is coming to take us home today, say, God, don't come now. I want to enjoy my life. I have this, I have that. What do you have? that heaven does not have much more. You don't have a continual city here. You better seek one to come. Dwell in tents upon the face of the earth. Don't dwell in castle. Don't dwell here as though there is no better place. We have no continual city here. We seek one to come. We will continue on this, this next week by the grace of God. We'll finish it up, then we'll come back to another dimension. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful week in Jesus' name. Amen.